Hey everybody, it's Amy Gretchen. Thank you so much for joining me today. In this video, we are working on days four and five in my December daily album. So day four is actually pretty simple, except it wasn't. I actually thought this was gonna take, I don't know, maybe 10 seconds to put together, but you know me and my decisions. And sometimes I forget the little tiny details, like where the hole punches are going to go in the photo. And so then it ends up taking a little bit longer. So this is a photo. This story is all about a favorite things party that I went to with um, some new friends um, in my neighborhood, which it was just such a lovely event. And I wanted to make sure and document it. So I thought it'd be fun to document it with photos of um, all of the gifts that everyone gave. And so I laid them out and I took a picture and I was like, great, this is gonna be super simple, super easy. You can see that I added some journaling. Now the journaling could have been a little bit bigger, but you know, you forget when you're looking at it on the screen that it's gonna print at a four, four by five, you know, <laughs> within that range. Anyway, so that was already a little bit small, but I'm like, it's fine. I can get out a magnifying glass if I need to. It's not that bad, but it is pretty small. So then I decided that, of course I wanted to embellish and I wanted it to have some 3D pieces on there. And I love this, that four, the, the red four, and I thought that would be really fun over the green. And so then I was just looking through all of my embellishments. You can kind of see all the things that I pulled over, the chipboard, got like the star or those, that heart. So I was just kind of messing with it. And I think after I go and cut this out, I realize, wait a second, I'm gonna have to add holes to this to add it to my album. And I'm pretty sure those holes are gonna be right where I wanted to put that number four. So, of course, I finally make my decision. I finally feel like I feel good about where those embellishments were gonna go. And then I get derailed because I realize, wait a second, the hole is gonna go right where I wanted the number to go. So then I feel like I'm sort of starting over and trying to rearrange all the letters. So I will tell you this, now that I'm remembering it as I'm watching this video, I probably just would have added that four to a different spot, probably on top of those um, gray lines. But what ends up happening, as you can see, is I cut off the edge because it's this point, you can see that now I'm pulling over the album. It's at this point that I'm like, wait a second, hmm, that's gonna go right through my number and I definitely don't want that. But I've already cut into the four and I think it looks really strange. So I was really frustrated with myself because I, I would have just used that number. But I was like, why did you cut into it? You should have waited. <laughs> It was lit. It was literally like two seconds before. I have to say, I sort of feel like this is what this December daily has been like. I have an idea. I start to execute it and I'm like, wait a second, this isn't working out the way I thought, or I make a mistake and then I end up having to redo something. And I don't know, it's not that frustrating, but it's sort of been frustrating. So I just wish I hadn't cut off that edge. Anyway, at some point, I'm gonna put that four away. Maybe I can use it for another day, but I'm just going to rearrange what I've got on my board and that's gonna be good. I, I think what you end up seeing is maybe not the final. Actually, this is gonna be the final where the four is at the bottom, then I've got the gather, and then I've got the green heart. The green heart ends up going below the hole punch. But at any rate, we are done with day four. So let's move on to day five. So I had gone to bed late one night, or some might say really early in the morning, is about one in the morning. And for whatever reason, I was reflecting on some of the not so great things that had happened in the last couple of days. There was like a handful of them. And I was remembering this file, this Bah Humbug, I guess it's more of a product that came in the kit. And it's really large and it was too big for me to use. But I thought, you know, it would be really fun to use that and do a list of the not so great things that are going on. And then I remembered last year that I did a loving and a not loving page. So instead of just having a page of all the not great stuff, I thought, you know, maybe I'll just do what I did last year and I'll have the not great stuff and then the great stuff, you know. And that's basically where this idea originated. I was just thinking of doing a list of the not so great things, 
but I kind of wanted to act, counteract that with something a little bit more positive. So when I woke up the next morning, I ended up looking at the products and what would go good or what would be like the direct opposite of Bah Humbug. And I thought the Fa La La actually worked really well as a way for, you know, some journaling of some positive things. So I ended up just creating this cut file from the original file, just using the original file as my guide. So the lighter colors I printed on pink and then I had a base of red so that it would just be easier to put the letters together. And as I was doing it and you saw that I was trying to pop up the letters, but as I was realizing how long that was gonna take me to cut out all those little pieces of uh, foam tape, and then also it didn't look very good because you could see all the foam tape underneath it. So I thought it would just be better to stack them on top of one another. And so that's what I ended up doing. I just cut more out. I think I cut two, yeah, I cut two more out and I was thinking that I would do, uh, I guess, three on top, but I thought it was just a little thick and I thought two would be great. So I ended up not using um, one of the sets, but that's totally fine because I do end up using one of the sets because I glued. So that the large A, I ended up gluing them wrong because there's a notch on the right side. And anyway, I ended up gluing it wrong. So you'll see me kind of pull that off and put it on. But at any rate, I really love how this turned out from going from a physical product to a digital product back to uh, a physical product. I just thought it was really fun and this I just thought this was a really fun product. So if you are doing a larger album and you have this kit, you can definitely uh, just use that for something like this. Or if you wanted, you could do the same thing with uh, the digital file. And if you're interested, I could show you. It's, it's very simple. It's a technique that I've used I feel like in a million other videos, which is why I did not show it. But if you're interested to see how I took the file and uh, made all the, the cut files, uh, let me know and I'd be happy to do a video for you. So anyways, just gluing everything down. Of course, it takes a minute to do all of that stuff. I don't, I don't know if you guys noticed, but when I was trying to figure out where that, that you fit, I did not realize there was a U right after the H. Like I literally was like, this cut wrong. Is this supposed to be the H? Like where does this go? And then I figured it out. So anyways, like last year where I had loving on top and not loving on the bottom, I decided to swap it this year and do the, the Bah Humbug stuff first. And then to kind of counteract that, that's when I did all the positive things. So some of the things that I wrote down were like a straight positive from the negative, like my Christmas cards were printed incorrectly, so they need to reprint them. I still don't have them and I wanted to get them done early, so I was super bummed about that. But at least they reprinted them for free and I didn't have to, I mean, they were really great about it, so it's not like I had to go through a big long process. All right, you guys, so I glued those on and then I, went about my business and did some other things. And I realized when I'd come back to it, I don't know, the next day, working on the next day, that I had forgotten that I wanted to put some texture behind the words. So you can see, I think this is probably in the evening, which is why the color has changed. And so I grabbed over this Spellbinders embossing folder. This is something that I bought this year as well, along with those dies. And I thought that it would add a really great texture. It kind of looks like a sweater. I can't remember what the, the die is called, but of course it will be uh, down below. And I thought that it just added some really beautiful texture underneath those words. So I'm glad that I was thinking about not going and doing it, but the, cause I was like, oh, I don't wanna have to reprint these cards. But actually the words kind of peeled up really cleanly only on, uh, I think on the F, it didn't come off clean, but I was able to just cover it right back up with the letter, so couldn't see it at all. So anyway, I really love uh, how this turned out. I think Spellbinders has some really great products. I love their embossing folders. I love that they're large enough, 
um, for larger cards and that you can use in your scrapbooking. So definitely check them out. Now I'm just going to adhere the words down and I'm going to be done with this page, except of course I need to add the number. And I've told you guys this before, but I feel like this is often one of the things that I'm like, I don't necessarily put it into the design. Sometimes I do when I'm uh, sketching things out. I'm like, oh yeah, I'll add the number here, but not always. <laughs> so anyway, you um, I ended up, I was thinking about maybe adding some stars and you guys, you're going to have to tell me what you think because I have to tell you, I am a little not 100% sure that I love it because it sort of reminds me of Las Vegas, but I'm jumping ahead. I'll, we'll get there in just a second. But I am just adding, um, you know, adding that page onto the back of day four that we've already worked on. And then I'm just going to cut off the edges because that photo was just a tad bigger. And then I'm going to punch in the holes. So that's going to be it, right, for day five. Now, you'll see that I don't punch in the holes on the you know, the fa la la page. And that's because I like to put the pages together before I punch the hole. So I will do that when I work on day six. So here's the stars that I was telling you about. I just put the sticker five on top of the larger one and then added one to the left. I felt like it needed to be balanced out. And I do end up putting an even smaller star down because I felt like it needed something more. But this is what I meant. Like, I'm not 100% sold. I think it's the white that's throwing me off. But I don't know. You guys will have to tell me what you think of it. Kind of it reminds me of Elvis in Las Vegas for some reason. That's why I'm thinking it might have something to do with the with the star. But you guys will have to tell me what you think. Anyway, you guys, that's going to be it for uh, day four and five. Thank you so much for being here. Really appreciate you guys supporting this channel. If you like what you saw, please give this video a thumbs up. And you guys, we will see you next time. Bye.